Thousands of Perth homeowners are living in potential death traps and they don't know it. Experts say they need to take action or risk electrocution in their homes or burning down around them. Jeff Parry reports on this silent danger above. Peter Brandis has crawled through thousands of roof spaces. It's what the electrician turned electrical instructor finds in older houses that horrifies him. And I'll just pull that out here and this is the cable and just to show you how brittle it is, yeah, yeah, look, there you go, there's the bare wire there. It's called vulcanised Indian rubber and in its day was a big improvement in wiring houses. Tens of thousands of homes built in the 50s and 60s from the east coast to the west had VIR cable laid across ceilings and in metal conduits. But VIR has well and truly had its day. Time is its enemy because as the material gets older, it only degrades more. And that turns the electrical cable in thousands of older Australian homes into a fire or electrocution risk. In this test, organised by the College of Electrical Training, we can see what can go wrong. It takes about 30 seconds for dodgy VIR cable to start to generate smoke and then burst into flame. It's not an, it's not an understatement to say that it's a bit of a, a time bomb sitting in your roof. In no, your not at all. Not at all. There, there, there's the potential there for something catastrophic to happen. Just ask the family of David Spence. The handyman was electrocuted in his roof trying to fix his TV reception. He would have died instantly the minute he touched it. The only real solution is to rip out the VIR and you won't be alone. Buckingham Palace replaced its old dodgy electrical cables last year. If you're thinking of checking if you've got old and dangerous wiring, keep in mind that it's illegal for anyone, even a tradesman, to go into the roof space without turning the power off. We recommend that you get an inspection by an electrical contractor. They know what they're looking for and they can actually identify if there is any of that cable in there. Peter Brander says it's a few thousand dollars well spent. What's worth more, your life or some electrical wiring? I think I know the answer. Yeah. Jeff Parry, 7 News.